Welcome back to my hangar. I have a tractor project today. Just a quick one. I've already got most of it built, but I thought I'd show you what I'm doing and how it's going. I figured I'd focus on the tractor because you don't need to see me. So what I'm working on is my weights here. These are what I use for uh, uh, weighting the back of the tractor down for snow blowing. And as we've discussed in some of the other videos, weight is a useful thing for traction. So what I had in the past was this gadget here, which was made up out of some square and some angle and some old um, garage door opener track here. And uh, the way it worked was I had these two pins that went into the holes down here. And then I put a bolt on the top and then I could pivot it. You see, it all, it all kind of pivots a little bit here and because uh, it's all bolted together. And then I'd use this bolt to bolt it together in the racks here, the, uh, the pipe here, the bar here. It's not even a pipe. This bar would hold the weights. So that was the system. But it was a little bit fussy. I had to bolt it and unbolt it every time. And, um, and I wished I had two more weights I could put on it. I do have two more weights, but I wish two more weights would fit on it. So I was kind of thinking about changing that. Then I uh, got the bagger. And uh, I had the bagger all along, but I put on the bagger. And the bagger has a real clever way of attaching. So here's the bagger bracket from John Deere. Of course, they just stamp it out of big steel. And the way that system works is they put these two posts down here, one on either side, put that away. It plugs in here and it rotates up. And these pins right here, these pins, pop right in. And there you go, you've got a good solid mount. So I kind of like that idea and I thought, as long as I'm changing things, maybe I can borrow some ideas from that. So I went to my usual source of material, which is old garage door track material. And I built this guy. I'm about halfway, well, I'm done building, and I just need to paint it up here. But what I did was I took some box, it's kind of a rectangular box, and I fish-mouthed the end out here to fit over these posts, and then uh, used some angle to build the bracket that goes up here, and then a couple back here to uh, finish it out. So it goes in just like that. And uh, once again, you use the pop the pin in, and it holds right up, pin on both sides, of course. And then that gives me a nice rack that I can mount my weights on, just like that. So that's my clever idea. I uh, started out by getting the angles right. I uh, had to figure out how far out this bar needed to be. And then uh, this particular piece of, of box here, I, uh, I cut that to length. I built a little notch out here for the uh, the square tube I was using, and then uh, this bracket to keep it from swinging. And then I had to do a little termination on the end here to keep it from sliding off the end. And uh, welded it up. And the uh, next thing is paint, and then we'll see how it looks. But this will be my quick change uh, snowblower weight attached thing. And the nice thing about it, of course, because I went outboard a little bit, I can put two more out on the edges. So once I clean up all the welds, sand down some of the rough corners, wipe it down with mineral spirits, coat of primer, coat of black paint, we come up with this device. Looks like that. Looks pretty good. Looks like it'll hold up for a while. And let's see if it still fits. Pops in there. And what I'm going to do is put the pins from the outside in here. And we are set to go. Let's see how it works. So there we go. Six weights, 25 pounds each, 150 pounds in the back. Should be good traction this winter. Thanks for riding along. We'll catch you on the next project.